Hi everyone and welcome to day 27 in the Iron Series and today it's the upper body. We're going to be doing supersets, the duration there, 60 seconds of work, followed by 60 seconds of work, 30 second rest. At the beginning we'll be hitting the back and chest, so essentially that superset is going to be a back exercise, supersetted with a chest exercise. When it comes to the back and chest supersets, we'll be performing those three rounds each. We will then move on to shoulders where we have some unilateral pressing. So we'll be doing single arm pressing. It'll either be a hammer press or a standard single arm shoulder press. Following that, we're then onto some lateral raises, frontal raises and rear delt flies. The rear delt flies again will be unilateral. And the finisher today, it's a short one. We have 30 seconds of our landmine row with one dumbbell or two depending on the weight. If you prefer to use two dumbbells and do a normal bent over row, by all means do so. Or if you have that heavier weight, you can of course do your landmine row. But make sure that your chest is open when you're actually rowing. Your hips are backing up, chest open, shoulders back. Following those 30 seconds of our landmine row, we then come to the mat, a burnout of push-ups. Give it your all for those last 30 seconds. So for your reference, the chest and back, I will be using two dumbbells, 20 kg each. For the single arm shoulder presses, I'll be using one dumbbell and that is a 10 kg dumbbell. Then for everything else, the rear delt flies, laterals and frontals, I'll be using four kg. When it comes to the finisher, I'll be picking up that one 20 kg dumbbell for those landmine rows. So if like me, you're deciding to go that little bit heavier for a really good rows today, what I would say is to really slow it down Think about setting the dumbbells down as quietly as possible. It does become harder as obviously you become more fatigued. Open the legs and squeeze the quads and glutes and brace that core. You really do need some stability in order to be able to move and lift that dumbbell pretty much solely with the back. When it comes to the shoulder exercises today, particularly the rear delt flies and also laterals and frontals, you will notice that the first set will primarily be a lot more controlled even trying to do a slight pause at the top, really control the lowering and of course the lifting. The second round will be a little bit faster, so only slightly faster. You're still controlling the dumbbell, you're gonna bring it up, control. Nice and steady, nice and firm body, brace that core. So yes, chest, back and shoulders, but of course those arms are getting a good workout as well. The triceps are involved quite a bit with those diamond presses, but also our shoulder press. So yep, shoulders, back and chest, but the arms are definitely getting a solid workout as well. The diamond press involves those triceps as well as shoulder press. And the biceps are involved with those rows. I think you'll enjoy this one. It's slow, controlled, but very intense. Let's go.